at this hydrogen system that I've got installed on my van. I went out on a test drive yesterday with it and got awesome results. So you might want to go to my website, uh, GoTurtlePoop.com, and check it out. For right now, what we've got here is we've got a dual generator system. If you notice, my air cleaner scoop is over the top of both my generators, and I've got a hole cut in the top of this thing so I can get to my fill port. You can see that the generator goes down the side there and goes in the one over here. They're all stainless steel. Okay, and take a look, good look down in there. This here, uh, right here, goes into a T and it comes out this hose down, going down, down the bottom there. What that does is it goes down into the bottom of this bubbler here and then comes out the top and goes into the bottom of the second bubbler. Well, it comes out the top of the second bubbler and it follows this tube and goes up to a vacuum control valve. Now, what happens is, is your engine has a lot of vacuum in it, and if you just leave that, hook that up directly without a control valve, what you'll do is you'll end up sucking everything right out of your bubbler. And you don't want to do that because that's a lot of water. Going from here, it goes up to a solenoid valve. Now, this solenoid valve, you can uh, uh, turn it on or off. And what happens is when you turn your system on it opens this valve and it allows that vacuum to go through there and draw your hydrogen in when you shut your system off which is the most important thing here because your engine retains that vacuum in there for quite a while and once you shut your system off you're gonna your that vacuum is gonna suck all the hydrogen or the uh, electrolyte right out of your bubblers and you'll, you'll end up with water in the line here so when you start your vehicle and turn your system on later you're going to be sucking water into your engine first so you don't want to do that so when you shut your system off it closes this valve here for you here's my relay systems now these relays will uh, they will be energized when I turn my toggle switch on and uh, what this does is it makes the connection between the battery through the pulse width modulator the amp meter and then out to my generators and then back all, all the way around to make a complete circuit and let's go to the inside of the truck here. First, I'll show you my uh, control box. You can see I've got uh, two amp meter gauges there. And I've also got two toggle switches. a little bit dark, but we'll see if we can't get, get a shot of them. There's the two toggle switches here. This one and this one. Those turn my generators on. This switch here is the EFI. That's just to turn my EFI on and off. My pulse width modulators are mounted inside the box, uh, and here's the control knob for them, so you can turn the amperage up or down and use it as you as you need to. And there's your gauges, so you can monitor both both generators. If you notice, I have a lot of air holes in the sides of the uh, control box. I have them in the top, the sides, the back, the bottom, all around. Uh, and what that does is it allows the airflow in there to keep them pulse with modulators cool. Uh, they put off a lot of heat, so with a dual gen system, you need to have a cooling fan. Well, let me see if I can get a look at it there. There it is right there. This is the cooling fan. This draws the air out of the box. It draws out the heat so the cool air can come in and circulate over those pulse with modulators and keep them cool. Okay, over here is my EFI. What I did here was I just took it out of the case and mounted it in a clear plastic box so everybody could see that you know exactly what it looked like inside there. Um, and it, it's pretty easy to deal with. I just hook up my multimeter to these little uh, posts here, and I can adjust it any way I want. It's pretty much set right now, so uh, it's doing pretty good. But uh, pretty easy system to, to install. It's, it, it looks a lot more than what it is. It's not that hard at all. Anybody mechanically inclined